there and welcome back to my channel. My name's Ali and I'm a mum of four and we live in Wales by the sea and I share all sorts of videos on here from what we're eating, what we're making, what we're wearing, day in the life videos and stuff like that. And today I'm going to share with you a really easy recipe to make a slow cooker fudge. Um, and I really like using this recipe to make fudge that we gift to other people at Christmas time. And we just put it in some clear cellophane bags and it's the perfect thing just to keep in the fridge and hand out as gifts as and when. So I'm gonna show you the basic recipe. Um, so the basic recipe calls for 500 grams of chocolate. So I'm using a mixture of dairy milk and Bourneville just because I think it can get a bit too sickly sweet if you just use milk chocolate. And then a teaspoon of vanilla extract and 15 grams of butter, just a tiny little bit of butter, just to make it nice and glossy. So that's the basic recipe. If you want to make a fancy fudge, <laughs> you can make a chocolate orange fudge. We made that last week. So instead of chocolate, we used chocolate oranges. Um, you can also replace 100 grams of the chocolate with something else like Maltesers or Rolos or pieces of Mars bar and you can decorate the top. So when I've melted this one, even though this is quite a basic fudge recipe, I'm going to put sprinkles on the top just to make it look a bit festive. So this is super easy to do. So you just need to get your slow cooker, pop it on high, keep the lid off and add your chocolate, vanilla extract and condensed milk and just stir it every 10 minutes until it's all melted then put it in a lined tray to set in the fridge. Once it's set, you can cut it into little squares and voila, it couldn't be easier than that. So we're going to put our chocolate into the slow cooker, followed by our butter. Next, I put in the condensed milk, which I couldn't put in one-handed. And the next, our teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm just going to stir that, like I said, every 10 minutes until it's all melted. So now that's all melted, I'm going to put it in this um, foil dish just because it'll be easier to take it out of here. Um, I hope. <laughs> And then I'm going to decorate it with these sprinkles and put it in the fridge to set. So there it is all smoothed out. And now I'm going to press the sprinkles into the top. So here it is. It's been in the fridge for a good couple of hours and it's set nicely. So I'm going to turn it out of this tray and cut it up into little squares. And here is the finished fudge.